Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker here with a coloring book thing. Uh, my friend got me this David Bowie Starman coloring book a long time ago. And I figured, you know what? Maybe it's time we try something with it because I got a marker here. And uh, basically, when I open this up in that, and I'll take this out of the way, um, you know what? I did notice some of the line art's a little dodgy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's fine though, because guess what you can do with it? Uh, we're going to be doing paintings. I can't show you the uh, page that we're working on only because, uh, you know, Genius over here decided yes. I will record first before I do the intro. Good job, Edgy, you did it. <laughs> Anyways, though, we'll be uh, doing, I'm practicing acrylics and gouaches, and I figured this is a perfect way since the uh, line art is already provided. And of course, uh, I should mention, because I didn't show the process, so I'll be using, basically, I used this gesso on the page so that paint basically wouldn't absorb into the paper and ruin everything so that worked out great um I, next time i do another page of this if you'd like to see more we'll definitely do more of this bad boy anyways on to the footage so here we are with the painting process we're using the so flat uh golden acrylics um especially like if you like uh acrylic washes but can't find them and you like that matte finish I highly recommend those. Those have a great finish on them. Um, I will also say that uh, with my experience of doing tests with them uh, in, after doing this painting, because I actually did this a while ago, I gotta say, it scans in like a dream, too. It is an excellent, excellent paint. Um, again, with the acrylic painting, I'm just experimenting right now. And using a coloring book with guides, excellent we got ourselves like a nice little we got the lines so i don't have to think about drawing though um i'm gonna warn y'all now i have a bit of mortal kombat brain rot so maybe the next few art videos are gonna be mortal kombat related so just to warn y'all i've been playing the mortal kombat one game and it's been very good i've enjoyed it a lot but anyways back to david bowie who is a very amazing uh singer that i enjoy that's funny, I got, I'd say I got into him uh, in high school, grade 10, because uh, I was one of those people that never really listened to a lot of the older stuff until like I got exposed to it like a little later or whatever, like depending. Like I probably, I heard a lot of his songs like fashion and all that, but I never actually like, you know, got and knew it was David Bowie sort of thing. I think that's the best way to put it. That was like the same with me and Journey. I didn't know it was Journey until I actually looked up the singers. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, um, but then I saw Labyrinth and I was hooked. And that Labyrinth, of course, there's a Labyrinth page in this book. But I'm gonna go in order. I'm gonna go in order with it. And of course, that's if you wanna see me do more of these. Uh, just let me know in the comments below if you do. Um, it's just for practice, and I gotta say, I am gonna hype up some art supplies. Cause for instance, if you're practicing acrylic and you, you're on a budget, cause everyone's on a budget, um, out of all due honesty, you don't need the expensive stuff to practice. I mean, granted, I'm going a little balls to the wall doing that with this, but I digress. <laughs> I, I learned how to use acrylics in that actually from uh, the uh, folk art apple barrel paints. Uh, yeah, it was trial and error because like it was you know they're more of a watery consistency. But that's okay though. You kind of get the same idea, you know, the blending and all that. And you kind of get better and better as you go with it. And uh, of course, this is me playing it to because I had such a playing it, <laughs> practicing because I've had such a long hiatus with these things. I have done like a painting dabbling here and there, but I just want to kind of do more, you know? And I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, watercolors I've always done consistently, so that's why I'm not too worried about repracticing watercolors. But acrylic and acrylic gouaches, and well, even gouaches, I'd say. 
Yeah. I mean, I got the the previous artwork that I showed um, that I did for like the maybe like doing this as an idea and I wasn't sure. Uh, I used like the jelly cup gouaches um, and uh, that, those work great. They were very nice. I'm not used to uh, the water activated gouaches because I've always used the whole bind acrylic gouaches. It's so funny though because I found like a 20 year tube, 20 year old tu uh, tube and uh, it's very funny. I should mention also, like a lot of, like I'm glad that the next one in this book is a full color one, because right now I've been just using like a grayscale because that's what the photo references have been. So I'm like, okay, hopefully we can, you know, get a little extra color in there, and thankfully we're gonna get that next time. If you still want me to do more of these ones, of course. Uh, yeah, though, like, um, again, the so flat, very nice, very nice finish. I can't stress enough how great they are. Uh, they have a lot of neon paints, which is interesting. Um, and even though, like, don't let those little containers fool you, though. They do carry quite a lot of paint in them. I uh, painted a whole record um, crate. And uh, the crate had a freaking, like, uh, it's, it's huge. And I used, like, the uh, neon pink and the burnt umber paints on it. And painted, like, all the sides and all that. And, um, I'm at the, only the halfway point of the jar of emptying it. Not even the, uh, not even close to, like, under half sort of thing. So, you get a lot out of those. And a little goes a long way with uh, a lot of paints. Uh, especially the uh, more pricier ones, because they do have a better, um, thickness, I guess. <laughs> a better consistency. I don't know. It's hard to say. I, it's hard to describe. I can't describe things. I'm terrible at it. It's like with the uh, watercolor tubes. It may be pricey now, but oh my gosh, you're literally just using like a dabble of it and gets so much of that little dabble. Like uh, the dot sheets are a good way to practice with the high-end stuff if you're interested but don't want to break the bank. Get dot sheets. Those will last forever. <laughs> oh man, I love it though. I love, um playing with like physical medium like this now um, I actually want to kind of play around with more of the uh, oh, I'm trying to think I'm trying like I want to play around more with like um, maybe abstract ish textures and that I want to actually play around with that what's cool is you still don't have to use a ton of paint for those because even though they have thick body paints you can get like um, almost it's almost like a filler where it makes it like thicker or like fluffier and things like that or you can just use kind of the fluff stuff or whatever let it dry and then paint over top and then you don't have to even use paint and layer paint with it it's kind of cool it, i like that there's like different options for things it's so cool anyways i forgot to record the background part whoops uh, so i'm just using uh my uh bright pink posca fine liner to kind of give a little like pop on the outside Figure, you know, let's do a little, like, uh, tacky border. So why not? But either way, though, um, I think, uh, yeah, we're getting close to the, uh, edgy after the painting, uh, talking about it. So, uh, yeah, um, let's see what I have to say about it after this. So here's the final picture! It turned out actually pretty well. Uh, I have to say the uh, so flats uh, turned out very nice. Uh, adding the Posca outline was probably a good idea. I'm just gonna try to fold that so it stays open. But regardless though, you know what? Okay, first off, we didn't use any of this paint because I just bought those after I did this video. Uh, but uh, you know, I'll practice with the Sennelier's eventually. I, uh, that quick review, these are really good. <laughs> okay, anyways though, um, yeah, the So Flat, so great. Uh, they have that kind of finish that I like with washes. As you can see my PS2 back here, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> it has a nice like uh, finish like washes. And uh, even though the color palette's limited, you got enough you can do some mixing with. Granted, the reference photo for this was in black and white, so you know, I tried to add a little zazz to it. Looks like though our next one is actually a photo that's in color, so that'll be a lot more fun to try out. Either way though, everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you, patrons. Alex Arnett, Alex Rednick, Dave Chadwick, Giant Elfman, Ivan Busio, Joshua Sorrells, Raymond Wright, Snivy3D, and the Dork Mistress. Thank you for your support. 
anyways that so everyone thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it oh uh, we're gonna do uh next time we're gonna do a pencil crown talk only it's gonna be uh, a little different i bought a set of um children's pencil crayons and i have two other ones like classic crayola and another kind and we're gonna do kind of like a comparison on uh, which one is more worth it sort of thing so uh yeah that should be interesting but either way though as i said these videos do come out when they come out but for those who watch thank you so much and uh until next time i'll see y'all later bye now